Do you believe in preemption or do you believe in deterrence? That's the key philosophical strategic I issue, I right? Depends, I think it depends upon the ap application of what's happening at the time. I don't think you take you take things off the table. Well, when, in, you, when, you're, when you're going an adversary that wants to create chaos and a caliphate in the, in the, in the Middle East, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't put anything on the table. Everything should be placed ready to go. So let's say they were successful and they, they made this caliphate of Syria and Iraq. ISIS control both of them. Could the, could then do they have the military might to uh, attack America and defeat us? Well, I mean, if you're talking about conventional warfare, no. Uh, okay, so it's just look, a matter of the ideas that look, we have to fight their ideas. It's not just about the ideas. You have to look at the harm. That look at look at exactly what 9/11 actually did to this country. Look how much it cost this country. Not only in infrastructure for prevention and, and stalwartness and, and increased uh, com, uh, compensation. Well, why and did they? Why did those Saudis do 9/11? That horrible that. terrorist attack. Well, what's part of that aspect is the psychological part of warfare, which is part of warfare. Terrorists commit terrorist acts for a political objective. They, they are trying to change the public policy of the country in which they're against which they're committing terrorism, like the IRA was trying to persuade the British to get out of Ireland, so they, commit, they bombed London. Every terrorist has a political objective. So what is the political objective of those Saudis when they when they, you they have to they, find out from them, but according to well, ISIS, it's, it's the, they the said what their, of the infidel. They said, well, they said what their objective was. They wanted to get the United States uh, naval base uh, bases out of Saudi Arabia, so they would have a chance to fight the dictator monarchs that are running uh, Saudi Arabia. So. Uh, that's another case that seems like you're picking between two evils, like two two groups that don't respect individual rights, two groups that don't adhere to the values that you adhere to, two groups that don't believe in 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 a rule of law or equality of the law or any of the cons or any of the values that you and I share. So why should we pick sides when uh, when it's when the, when there is an imbalance in an area that c could escalate uh, into a worldwide conflict? I think we have the due diligence to mankind and this as to uh, other peaceful people to intercede to streamline that process. Okay, I think so it behooves us to have that application.